In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a really cute fall decoration using mason jar lids. The first step is to take the lids, separate them out. You're gonna need three lids per word for fall. Um, what I did then is I painted them all orange and let them dry. And then I took my stencil brush and I stippled different colors on them. I used uh, yellow, orange, I believe I used some green and some red as well. So I just kind of layered the colors and just kind of stippled them randomly over the orange um, that was already on them. This kind of creates a depth to the look, especially when later on uh, we'll go over them with the clear wax and then you'll be able to see all those little layers come through. Here's a picture of when the lids are dry. Uh, it definitely dries lighter um, than it was when it originally was put on. And then the next step was to uh, paint my letters. Like I said, each pumpkin, um, I, I wanted to spell out the word fall. So three lids for an F, three lids for A, three lids for um, each one of the L's. So then what I did is I took a pencil and I wrote the letter on one lid and then went over it with black paint. Yep, just like that. The next step, I found these dowels, I believe at either Michael's or the um, Hobby Lobby, I can't remember. And to cut them down, I actually used uh, my dog's nail clipper, uh, which worked perfectly, actually. The dolls fit right inside, and I just cut them. Uh, the next step was to take my hot glue gun and some jute. And what I did is I just wrapped these little sticks in jute all the way around. Uh, and this will create the stem for each one of the pumpkins. Just be careful so that you don't burn your fingers. And there's our stem. So now we'll assemble the pumpkins. Um, as I said, you can have three lids per letter. So the first two that don't have letters on them, I just overlapped them a little bit and glued them down with a hot glue gun, just like that. And then I glued the third on that had the letter. And I put it a little more down in the center so that it kind of resembles a pumpkin. And then this is where we take the stem. So you'll just flip it over and you're just going to hot glue the stem to the back of the pumpkin. I did put two extra little strips of hot glue um, over the back of the stem just to secure it in place. Probably not necessary, but. And I did not have leaves uh, for these pumpkins, so I did have some uh, flowers from the dollar store. So what I did is I just kind of tore off a couple of those leaves, and then I cut little tiny leaves out of that. And now I just put a little dab of hot glue right at the base of the stem. And then I'll just kind of push those uh, little leaves that I cut out in with a paintbrush. And that will give us the pumpkin leaves. Okay, next step is to wax. Uh, you can use a poly acrylic too, but I prefer wax. Uh, just a clear wax. I like to use Debbie's Design Diary DIY Wax. And as you can see now, when I painted this, all the colors, they dry really, really light. And then once you ap apply a poly acrylic or a wax, it'll actually, um, it'll pop with all the original color. I knew what I was trying to say there, but it didn't come out right. <laughs> but as you can see, yeah, the colors come back to life. Uh, 
Uh, I did have some metallic orange wax too. Um, I think it's Art, Art Alchemy. I did order them off of Amazon. Uh, quite a few colors actually, but this is the metallic orange. So I just kind of um, put a little bit kind of throughout the pumpkin just to give it that extra bang, if you will. So here I'm looping the end of a jute, just kind of making a little loop, and then I am hot gluing it so I can kind of wrap that excess around. And that is where you will hang it from. So then, make sure my letters are in order. So I started with F, and then just glued the jute right down to it. Again, I just added some extra bands of hot glue just to make sure it, it held. Again, probably not necessary, but. And then just kind of space them uh, with the distance that you want in between the letters. I think I went about an inch in between. I didn't measure, I just kind of eyeballed it. And then that's pretty much it. Just snip off the end, and then you're ready to hang. So a cute little fall decoration made out of mason jar lids. Hope you enjoyed the video.